Hi, I'm Sue Boo bringing crafting to you and today I'm going to make a card from uh, the stamp set uh, Sailing Home and the Dies and I've used the this beautiful sentiment, hope you have the best birthday. Now don't forget we've got celebration on at the moment, this is January and February of 2022 just in case you're watching this at a later date. Um, so you can get this free um, check out my shop to see um, how much you need to spend to get that free you can also get uh, this simply marvellous six by six there are um, 48 six by six um, colours in here which are really lovely I love both sides of it and it's absolutely fabulous when you emboss it there's so many lovely colours in it. There is balmy blue, basic grey, blushing bride, bumblebee, coastal cabana, flirty flamingo, gorgeous grape, highland heather, misty moonlight, pool party, smoky slate and so saffron. So I've decided uh, to use this um, colour in here. Now I think that's misty moonlight in that and that's uh, balmy blue I think as well in there. So I have used misty moonlight to um, prepare my stamps and I've used uh, balmy blue for my accents which I'll show you. Right so I've got a normal card base uh, which measures your standard A4 width, which is um, eight and a quarter, scored at four and one eighth, and it's um, I usually do five and um, seven eighths. So I'm just going to fold that in half and burnish. So let's do that with my bone folder and uh, what I've done already is I have cut a piece and it's a bit of a mess my card but I'm not really bothered about that I'm just gonna iron it out a bit with my bone folder so this is what you can do to make your card better just go over it with your bone folder on your um, mat and it will bring it up Okay, you can get rid of the burrs off the side. So these are a few tips for you. Um, and smooth it down. And just rub over and smooth it down. Now, why I'm not bothered um, about the card being like this is because majority of that card is going to be covered up because I'm going to just be using it as a layer and I've got other layers to put on top. So I have made this... Um, um eighth of an inch let's see uh is it eighth of an inch i think i've made it yeah um no no a quarter of an inch yes i've made it a quarter of an inch smaller all the way round so if i've done this um i'll just measure it sorry my brain's not working so reaching across uh, i'm just going to measure and tell you so uh, I made this one four inches by, which has only taken it uh, an eighth smaller, but I think it's slightly smaller than that. And then um, this one would have been, yes, a quarter of an inch that way, but I've only made it an eighth the other way. So don't know why, but that's working out on my card base um, better. So I've done that. And then, uh, so I'm going to put that down as my first layer. So as I say, I'm not bothered that this is um, mucked up uh, because you won't be able to tell when the card is finished. Now, another way of using card up that's got bent like this is run it through an embossing folder. And um, that with um, the weight of your rollers will um, smooth out your card so it's another way that you can use your card when you've creased it and it's not so good you can use that right now I've already embossed a piece of white basic white and this measures um, this measures 
uh, three and just over one little mark over the three and three quarters and by five and a half. And I've run this through the beautiful embossing folder. Now, unfortunately, we don't have this embossing folder, but my goal this year is to use the embossing folders that I've hardly used. So this one, used, uh, that when we did have it, was called Seabed, and it's a 3D net one. Now, you could use one out of the catalogue. Uh, there's quite a lot you can choose from. Um, you could use your... Um, Tasteful textures, that one is current, that would be a nice one. So you just want any embossing folder you've got really uh, to put this layer on. Um, so that's just going to be that eighth of an inch smaller. So whatever you do, you want eighth of an inch smaller. Um, so there's the um, seaside is it called the one that goes with the seaside i'm just going to look up what it's called for you that would be perfect as well i do actually have this one um it's called seashells the seashells ones would work well with this as well now i've used that marvelous um paper that you get free and i'm using this side and i thought it's really lovely embossed so I've made this an inch smaller than the other piece. So this is just over two and three quarters, just one little mark over that two and three quarters by the five and a half because I wanted it to be the same length as the white piece of card. And I'm just going to leave a narrow bit either side and it's been embossed with exactly the same embossing folder so you're just gonna whichever embossing folder you've used just put this piece in as well and i just thought this how it goes in and out of of color um it's really lovely it's done fabulous so there we go and then i've already stamped my um lighthouse and I've also stamped the smaller of the boats. And then I've got some pieces that I've done, uh, cut out with the dies. So these are the like seaweedy bits. And I've got a piece of vellum. Now you can just use plain uh, vellum. Mine happens to be the soft sea foam that we got several um, times ago in celebration that I'm using and it's got these holes kind of in it which works well for it being like water splashes so you can use um any vellum you've got so i'm going to be putting that on there and then i've done and this uh this i've done in um misty moonlight sorry my mind went absolutely blank i've cut out in balmy blue so the blue is the balmy blue Oops, that, um, that moved a bit. Let it come off. Hang on. That uh, has moved. I'm not happy with that. So let's see if I can pull it over a bit. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to re-put that down. I'm not happy with that. That moved. So redo that again. My glue allowed for that. Don't know whether yours will or not, but... Want to get that better? That's better, so I can put that down again. Okay, that's it. So I'm just going to really push that down again. There we go, that's better. Um, and also, I've just uh, already done, uh, this piece measures um, 7 eighths of an inch. So this piece in width measures 7 eighths of an inch. And it's just a random piece that I had left over from when I was cutting the card. So I've actually just used the punch. And the punch is called banner picker punch so i've just 
cut that out with the banner pick a punch just pushed it all the way in and I'm just going to chop this off wherever I feel I, I want to to put on here but first of all I want to put my lighthouse on um, so I'm going to get some dimensionals to put my lighthouse on so I'll just mount those up don't forget you can use every bit of your uh, dimensionals even these edges so I've left my scissors around here so I'm going to just cut into these and just pop these on here so on the back so none of our dimensional pieces get uh, wasted because we can use them all okay so i'm going to peel that off and uh, i'm just going to look about where i want this uh, I might have the boat actually in the background, so I'm going to tuck that underneath. I'm going to put it more in the top half of my card. I'm not worried about it going over, so I'm going to put that about there. And then I'm going to put this down with just uh, my wet glue so that I can tuck this behind my... That's it behind my lighthouse and then uh, I'm going to put this up on dimensionals but because it is narrow I'm going to cut up half of my dimensionals like this get some narrow pieces from there so that I can stick a couple just a couple on the bottom because that is going to balance on the top so I'm just going to put a little bit of my glue on there and then that balances on there nicely um, I've also got the rope that I'm going to slot in there as well so I'm just going to put a little bit of dimensional on the edge so I only want a, a tiny bit on there which side is it going to be it's going to be on this side so I'm just going to put a tiny bit on that edge there hang on I've not neither side came off so let's check which side I want it again put it on there take that off the top and then just put a little bit of glue going on there and that's going to There we go. And then these, this is my uh, seaweed. I just love these. Uh, if you uh, saw the fire one I did, um, I used the top part of, of this as a uh, fire flames. So I'm going to pop this up. That's going off the side there. And then, of course, I need to put this down. Um, now it's more difficult to hide your glue when you're doing this so what I'm going to do is just put um, some glue dots on here so uh, pick up my glue dot where are we there we go so which side do I want it on I want it on that so I'm going to put one at the very bottom and there's like a little globule of the water so i'm going to see if i can stick one behind that so that it won't really show because it's got that globule so just tucking those in behind there and let the rest hang free so then uh, i have got my um sentiment i'm going to allow my sentiment to go under uh, like that so I'm going to chop it off about here so I'm just going to use my mini trimmer that I got when I joined Stamping Up love this little trimmer um, I think it was available to buy for everybody at one point but I got this free with the joining offers there's some great joining offers that Stamping Up do you just have to keep your eye out for um, the joining offers that you want 
Okay, so I'm going to put that underneath there like that. Uh, I think I'm just going to sit that down as well. I'm not going to raise this up. I'm just going to sit this down on here. And so you tuck that underneath there. Just come to that there. Okay. So there we go. A male birthday card. So this is... Um, for my cousin's boy, uh, he's not a boy anymore, he's almost a man. Uh, well, actually, I think he is because I think he's at university. So, yes, he is. So, I hope you liked that. I think that's a, a really nice card. Um, it doesn't take too much to do, but really effective. So, I uh, hope you like it. Um, I'm not sure if I've been on since uh, New Year, but if not, Happy New Year to you. Um, hope you are surviving and not catching the COVID. So uh, take care, stay safe, stay well. Please subscribe and press the notification button so you won't miss any of further videos that I upload. Uh, please um, press the like, it, thumbs up uh, for me if you liked my video. And um, say don't forget to share it. Thank you very much. Bye.